from some of our incredible teachers and educators, what they've been up to and what they've got planned for the future. Kids are naturally curious and for me it's actually kind of easy to cultivate curiosity. What I try to do when kids show up with that curiosity in science is to put some wheels under it, so to speak, you know, to give it some oomph. When small or young children are looking at this stream in front of us, making observations, they'll use their background knowledge to infer what they're looking at. What could be better than to have kids learning about uh, the natural world by going outside and walking in it and getting dirty? We do hope that our students are uh, getting their hands dirty and getting mud on their boots. You can organize your perceptions or your observations by using those tools that scientists use. The Change Making and Leadership program is really set to help empower students to find ways that they can make meaningful changes in their communities and in the environment. When I think about what's happening in our class, it's really about providing students with agency to help them identify things that they're interested in, they're curious about, and to then provide them with the tools and the support that they need to scaffold their way to a place where they recognize that they do have a voice, they do have the ability to make a change, and then to sort of feed that fire. So it's largely about asking good questions, listening for understanding, developing a better and greater sense of empathy for other people. And because it's in those moments that you start to identify opportunities to make an impact. And we're excited to sort of continue to push forward in those fields and to continue to support our students in becoming sort of thoughtful, not only users of technology, but creators of technology. We are so lucky to have such a beautiful campus at Brookwood and so it makes sense to make sure that sustainability and learning about the environment is deep within our curriculum. It really is our duty informing and educating the citizens of our future and within our strategic plan we're going to be putting sustainability right in the middle of all our decision making. Our operations, our finance, where we source our food and most importantly how our community work together to ensure that we are responsible in how we look after our environment. Highlight from this year, I think, is probably the projects that we're working on right now in 6th and 7th grade, change-making classes, and it's focused on trying to identify ways in which we can push Brookwood a little bit further down the sustainability spectrum and to find actionable approaches to making small or big changes in the way that we run our classes or operationally run the school. So everything from looking at our food waste or looking at where we're sourcing food from to how we're getting our energy, using our energy. Our campus alone is um, a gold mine, especially for a science teacher. And right in front of me is this little stream that drains the upland forests behind us, that moves into a wetland, and then that wetland drains into a salt marsh and into the ocean. That is amazing to be perched at the intersection of all of those ecosystems and to be able to walk out your door and study those. Thank you for watching our video and I hope you enjoyed it 